sometimes clients ask, why do I owe estimated tax payments? And typically we see some common fact patterns that generate those quarterly estimated taxes for individuals. However, before we go into the why, let's cover exactly what estimated tax payments are and how we calculate them. Estimated tax payments are required to make sure that we meet the minimum required paid in to avoid penalties. Those rules are for individuals if you have prior year tax, you either have to pay in 100% or 110% of your prior year tax, depending on your income level, or 90% of your current year tax. Since most people don't have crystal balls to know what their current year tax may be, we typically base those on prior year tax. Once you have that number of the prior year tax, you know how much you have to pay in throughout the year in terms of payroll withholding and quarterly tax payments to make sure you meet those minimum thresholds to avoid penalties. Now, what are some of the common uh, triggers we see in quarterly estimated tax payments? Well, first, let's focus on the income side. What income can you generate or do you generate that doesn't have withholding associated with it? So, for example, your investment income, things like interest, dividends, if you sell stock at capital gains during the year, or maybe your mutual fund issues cap gain distributions at the end of the year. All those are sources of investment income that show up on your tax return, but your brokerage house doesn't typically withhold any income tax associated with that investment income, which means you have income triggering tax, but no withholding to offset that tax. How do you make up that shortfall? That's where quarterly estimated tax payments come in. Another example is self-employment income, such as uh, sole proprietorship or Schedule C income. If you have your own business, operate it, uh, triggering income throughout the year, you can't wait till the end of the year and pay all the tax at the end of the year when you file your tax return. Instead, the IRS says you need to get that quarterly amount of income that you're generating, compute the tax on it, and include that as part of your quarterly estimated tax payment. Lastly, things like rental income or uh, K-1 income or other sources of income that show up on your tax return, but yet there is no associated withholding on that income. So like all the other sources of income mentioned earlier, you have to pay that estimated tax to cover the tax generated on that income. Now moving away from the income side, let's look at what other taxes may be showing up on your tax return, but aren't covered by your payroll withholding. First example is the alternative minimum tax. The AMT is a tax that you layer on on top of your regular tax if it exceeds your regular tax. So while your payroll withholding may cover your regular tax liability, if you're in an AMT position, um, you may owe quarterly estimated tax payments to cover your AMT tax. And that's something to keep in mind. Your estimated tax payments cover your total tax liability, which includes your income tax, AMT, and any other taxes you owe. With the tax reform that passed in late 2017, the AMT should affect fewer taxpayers, but it is out there, so something you need to include in your computations. Another example of a tax that you may have to pay in as part of your quarterly estimated taxes are household employee taxes. So if you have a nanny that you pay throughout the year, um, at the end of the year, you typically uh, file that household employee um, form with your tax return, and whatever payroll taxes that you owe associated with that are typically paid in with your tax return. So those household employee taxes, rather than wait and pay with, with your tax return, if it's part of your overall tax liability, you're supposed to pay it in equally throughout the year as part of those quarterly estimated tax payments. Well, hopefully that explains why you may owe some estimated tax payments. Best of all, contact your tax advisor and have them run the projections for you, and they can sit down and explain what your triggering causes may be.